Yo, what's going on people? So if you missed the live stream, we got a first look at our new operators, Mozzie and Gridlock. So here is what they can do. We're going to start off with uh, Mozzie since everyone seems to be so interested in him. So his gadget is called the Pest Launcher and you can actually hack the attacker's drones. But that's not all, you can actually hack them and control the attacker's drones. So this works two ways. You can either uh, launch one of the devices at a drone and capture it. It has kind of like a radius, like uh, Kayed's uh, Electro Claw, can't remember the name. But yeah, it has a radius like that there. So if a drone is in that radius, uh, it's gonna automatically be caught. But if you miss, you can actually take up the device and try again. Or you can deploy it on surfaces and actually capture the drones when they pass it, kind of like an ambush. But if you decide to put it on a surface, uh, the attacker's drone is actually gonna get a little icon to let them know that uh, one of the devices is close by. But that's still good because it stops the drones from coming into whatever room. Uh, they did say the radius is much smaller than the mute jammer though, so you can't put this and uh, put this down and expect this to block an entire hallway. Uh, drones that you capture are going to be highlighted white for your teammates, so they're, they're going to know not to shoot those drones that have the white outline. And for the attackers, you're going to have to look at the lens of the drone to see if it's uh, lighting up blue. If it's blue, that means the defenders have it, so you're going to have to shoot it. And when it comes to his counters, as we forget his counters, uh, you can control the drones, but you can't like take them up and throw them back, you know, somewhere else. And if you jump outside, uh, it's going to do like Echo's drone and give you three seconds before it gets destroyed. Now over to his counters. Thatcher is going to be able to uh, destroy the devices if you put them on a surface. IQ is going to be able to see the hacked drone, so she'll be able to track them. And Dokubi, if she hacks into someone's phone, she can't take back control of the drone, but she can actually see uh, where it is. She's going to get the live feed. So there's kind of like a little hacker war going on in Siege now. And lastly, this uh, com uh, communication is the last counter. So if you see a drone uh, get hacked, to tell your other teammates. Now onto his loadout. Uh, Mozzie is a two speed, two armor. Uh, he's gonna have two assault rifles, I think the Commando 9 and the P10 Roni. Uh, actually, I think the P10 is an SMG. Uh, he's gonna have two secondaries the Super Sur uh, Shorty shotgun and the SDP 9mm pistol. And for his gadgets, he's gonna have barbed wire and a nitro cell. Now over onto the attacker gridlock, she's gonna, uh, her gadget is called the Trax Stinger, she's gonna have two of these, uh, basically you put these down and they're gonna jump around to cover a large area, so you could think of this as like barbed wire on steroids. So the Trax Stingers actually do three things, uh, if you walk over it, it's gonna keep a bunch of noise, so it's gonna let the attackers know where you are, it is gonna slow you down, and lastly, you are gonna take damage, uh, every time you step on one, and from the health indicator down there, it looks like 10 damage for every step. That seems like a lot. I can see that getting nerfed in the near future. And the counters for this are pretty simple because this is a mechanical gadget, kind of like Frost's Trap. So uh, you can shoot it, uh, you can melee them, or explosions, kind of like impacts or C4, are gonna take care of the track stingers. But they said it's gonna cost a lot of resources and also you're gonna keep a bunch of noise and you're gonna waste time. So yeah, these do more than just slow you down. And lastly for her loadout, uh, she's gonna be a one speed three armor attacker. She's gonna have the F90 assault rifle, the M249 saw LMG, but she's gonna have a different ACOG from everyone else. Well, actually she kinda has an ACOG kind of like a uh, Kayet's pistol. And she's gonna have the same secondaries as Mozzie. She's gonna have the super shorty shotgun and the SDP 9mm pistol. And for her gadgets, she's gonna have a breach charge and smokes. And they said the smokes go really good uh, with the track stingers because they take so long to deploy and they're you know they keep a bunch of noise when they're jumping about. So uh they suggest taking smokes, but yeah, that is it for the new operators and lastly before i go for all the hibana mains the new hibana elite has just been teased i do not like hibana but this customization looks amazing especially for the x kairos so i'm gonna leave you uh with this looping in the background so if you found this video helpful you could leave a like and share it around and comment down below what are your thoughts on these new operators who are you more uh, excited to play and what are your thoughts on the new Hiban Elite? But that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more Remote Six Siege content. And I'll see you in the next video.